Kilmonica without Finnish playmaker Alexei Arimenko. The three changes to the team beaten in midweek at Dundee include recalls for Rory McKenzie and Robbie Muirhead. Alan Archibald has had tougher managerial decisions to make than, say, same again to the 11 who started the 5-0 hammering of Hamilton at Fur Hill on Wednesday night. Callum Higginbotham, clever little flick for James Craigan. And Ryan Stevenson scores after 70 seconds. And Partick Thistle have simply picked up where they left off in midweek. Five goals against Hamilton Ackies and an early strike against Kilmarnock. Josh McGuinness, 1-1. A badly needed goal for Kilmarnock. It's their first in open play for nearly 750 minutes. And from Chapler. Pascali's header in goes Ashcroft, the ball is in the net, the goal will not count. The Kilmarnock captain complains, no touch I don't think from Ashcroft, but he was certainly in the line of sight. O'Donnell's pass, Higginbotham has switched sides, and does well to get the cross in, it's Dolan, there's Craigan, and out came Craig Sampson to deny the Patek Fischl midfielder. The chance to get them back in front. Mackenzie on the move, now McGuinness to the byline. It's a good ball in from Muirhead. It drops for Obadee with his back to goal. Back to Muirhead, down goes the Kilmarnock man. Looking for a penalty. No joy against this challenge by Gary Fraser, and it didn't look to be too much in it. Cregan. Bannigan's cross. Pascali's header. In goes O'Donnell with a looping header. But he's looking for a penalty. Against the challenge behind him from the other day. But I think it was an optimistic shout. Slater's corner kick, Mark O'Hara, Manu Pascali, 2-1 Kilmarnock in the 79th minute. And as you can probably tell from his facial expression, it is Pascali's first goal of the season. It's been a long wait. Will it give Kilmarnock all three points? Banigan's free kick, up went Osman, Declan Madeid, and Freddie Fall is onside and equalises for Patek Thistle with just six minutes left. Similar to Kilmonic's goal, which got them 2-1 up, and close in was Froh to divert that pass, Samson. Chapman looking for a free kick against the Donald, not given. Chris Doolan thought he had a chance there to win the game for Patek Thistle. What a challenge it was from Manu Pascali to keep things at 2-2.